I'm James Sokowski. Thanks for joining me for another free art lesson. We're going to talk about sunrises and sunsets. There are a lot of similarities between the sunrise and the sunset. What's different though is the sunrise is a little cooler than the, su than the sunset. Well, I'm going to paint the sunset though today and I'll use the warmer reds really. That's, that's the difference. The sunrise will have a cooler pink, uh, a cooler red, and I'd use the lizard and crimson for that. But for the sunset, I'll use the warmer cadmium red light. Okay, well, let's start with the sun itself. Here, here's some cadmium lemon yellow. I'll put a tiny bit of white with that. Let, let's just start right here and put the sun here. See, there's a progression that moves out from the sun. And I think a lot of people know how it goes from yellow to orange, you know. And it goes into the pinks. This is a pink uh, made with uh, cad red light and white. And I'm going to blend all this together, and then we'll, we'll get some blues going in here. So I'll get a bigger brush. You can find a bigger brush here. Here it is. And we'll get a little more paint on there. These are the, the, the most dramatic times of the day and uh, certainly the most colorful and the most interesting to paint and to uh, put into a painting, you know, to for those who like to view a painting, I think the sunsets and sunrises are the most interesting. So, so we're going to move out from the sun little by little here. See, this is the concept, again, of losing yellow when you go from yellow to orange to pink. And above the pink, this is interesting because it goes into a thalo green. This is thalo green plus white. And I should mention pr just quickly here, I made these mixtures. This is cadmium red light with white. There are two of those. One is darker than the other. This is thalo green plus white. This is thalo blue plus white. That's cobalt blue plus white. This is ultramarine blue with the lizard and crimson and white. Okay, so this is, here's the thalo green band goes above that pink. You'll see that in the morning, early in the morning and late in the day on a clear sky. It's a clear sky day. And then from there we go into cobalt blue. Here's cobalt blue with white. See, so there's a progression there. I'll take a bigger brush and just blend this. Just for the sake of a little contrast, why don't we put um, like a distant mountain here. This will be a, sort of like a, a, the back, uh, the distant landscape, okay? Just because I wanted to show you the contrast here. Okay. 
Well, well I'm going I'm to shoot a little more yellow here. I started on a pink toned canvas. I just stained my canvas with some cadmium red medium and some turpentine and just wiped it off. So we're just going to concentrate in here, see? Okay, now let's get, let's take that cadmium yellow or cadmium lemon yellow with some more white and we'll put that sun back here. Blend that out. Okay, so you have a progression here, just building that progression. Now we're going to throw some clouds in this just to show you how that would look. See, here's cobalt violet. Put a little white in there. <coughs> so a, a cloud, what we'll call these underplanes to the clouds, underplanes are shadows. So th this would be close to the horizon, closest to the sun. like that. And then uh, <coughs> I have this ultramarine violet, which I mentioned earlier. And that'll be, that would be an underplane for a cloud here. Then above that is um, ivory black and white. This is a warmer cloud. In fact, you know what, I, I could uh, put a little bit of blue in it or just leave it as a gray. <coughs> Let's do that. Let's just leave, leave it as a gray. That would be up here. Because a, a cloud overhead is going to be warmer. And then see they get cooler to go go back. Like this. I like a big brush just to blend with. This is a two inch brush, two inch bristle. These are all bristle brushes I'm using. See, now let's look at some underplanes, okay? Take a smaller brush. I have a, let's see, this is a number two filbert. And uh, filbert is a good brush to, to really control the paint with. So here, here we have the pink. Well, let's see. Let's let's take our yellow first. We'll take the yellow and white. And see what we'll, have, we'll hit the underplane of this cloud with some light. Like that. See as it the light the cloud that's closest to the sun will catch the most light, see. So those are underneath. We're going underneath those clouds. Here's a pink. 
Well, that would go, come under this cloud. Like that. Now, if this was the sunrise, I'd use uh, the alizarin crimson and white mixture. I painted a lot of sunrises. And you have to get up at 4 a.m. <clears throat> or 3.30 and wait for it. And then it comes so fast, you have to paint really fast. But it's, uh, it's easier to paint a sunset on location. <clears throat> so that's the, uh, these are the concepts here. The, we'll call them the big ideas in, in color progressions and light progressions. That hillside would actually be lighter right behind the the sun. And there would probably be a little bit of yellow in it too. See, like that. It gives it more of a glow. You see, like that. So that's your free art lesson for now. I'm James Solkowski. Please visit my website at jamesolkowski.com and check out my DVDs.